Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Eduxit.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Unfavorable Balance of Passbook Solutions Problem 17 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement from the following particulars and show the balance as per cash book. 1. Balance as per passbook on March 31st, 2000 plus overdrawn 20,000 rupees. 2. Interest on bank overdraft not entered in the cash book 2000 rupees. 3. 200 rupees insurance premium paid by bank has not been entered in the cash book. 4. Checks drawn in the last week of March 2000 plus but not cleared till date for 3000 rupees and 3500 rupees. 5. Checks deposited into bank on February 2000 plus but yet to be credited on dated March 31st 2000 plus 6000 rupees. 6. Wrongly debited by bank 500 rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let us first recap about why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. This difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transaction, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks issued by the business but not yet presented for the payment. When the business issues a check to the supplier or creditor, they are immediately entered on the credit side of the cash book. The supplier or creditor has to encash this check by presenting it in the bank. In some cases, the creditor or supplier may not present this check immediately in the bank. So, when the bank statement is received by the firm, as this check is not yet presented by the creditor or supplier, this will not be there in the bank statement. This is one reason. The next reason is, checks paid into the bank but not yet collected. When the business receives checks from its customers or debtors, they are immediately recorded in the debit side of the cash book. So, the cash book shows more amount to be available in the bank. These checks could be from a bank which is not in the same city or town. Sometimes, the business might have an account in one branch and the check could be from a different branch altogether. In such cases, the bank may not have collected this check amount by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So, there will be difference in the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is direct debits made by the bank on behalf of the customer. Sometimes, the bank deducts the amount for various services from the business bank account. The business will not be aware of these deductions until the bank statement is received by the firm. Some of the examples of such deductions are check collection charges, interest on overdraft, etc. As the business does not know about these direct debits, they will not be recorded in the business cash book. So, obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book and the bank passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is direct payments made by the bank on behalf of the customer. Sometimes, the customers give standing instructions to the bank to make some payments regularly on specific days to third parties. For example, telephone bills, insurance premium, rent, taxes, etc. These payments are directly paid by the bank on behalf of the customer and debited in the passbook. As a result, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. There are other reasons also, but to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only these four reasons for timing difference. Now, coming back to the errors made by the business or the bank, errors committed in recording the transactions by the bank. This is due to the omission or wrong recording of transactions related to the checks issued, checks deposited, and wrong totaling, etc., committed by the bank while recording the entries in the passbook. 
This will cause a difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balances. Also, I want to reiterate that when there is any debit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be on the credit side. And if there is any credit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be on the debit side. We have to keep this in mind. Now, with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of these details in the problem. Here, it is given that the overdraft balance as per the passbook is 20,000 rupees. As you know, the overdraft balance means that there is debit balance in the passbook. And we call the overdraft or debit balance as unfavorable balance of passbook. So, in this problem, the debit or overdraft balance as per the passbook is given. And we need to find the balance in the business cash book. Let us first enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the title as bank reconciliation statement as of March 31st, 2000 plus. Let us have the individual columns for serial number, particulars, amount that should be added and the amount that should be deducted. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as overdraft as per passbook. As this is debit or unfavorable balance in the passbook, we need to write this amount of 20,000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the interest charged by the bank on the overdraft balance is not entered in the cash book. As you know, when there is an overdraft balance, the bank charges interest on this overdraft balance and directly debits this interest amount from the passbook. However, the business will not be aware of these charges until the bank statement is received. So, the business cash book will not have this entry due to the timing difference. So, obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as interest charged by bank. Let us then write this amount of 2000 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the bank has paid the insurance premium, but this payment is not entered in the business cash book. Businesses usually give standing instructions to the bank to make certain payments as soon as they are due. This will help the businesses to get the payments done automatically and not to worry about missing any payments. So, when the time comes, the bank automatically pays the insurance premium. For this payment, the bank debits the amount from the passbook. As this payment is done automatically, the business will know about these payments only after the bank statement is received. So, this entry will be missing from the business cash book. So, obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as insurance premium paid by bank. Let us then write this amount of 200 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that two checks were drawn, one for 3000 rupees and the other for 3500 rupees, but they were not clear till date. When the business draws these checks and issues these checks to the seller or vendor, these checks will be created in the cash book and then they are issued to the receiver. However, as these checks are not yet clear, they are not yet debited in the passbook. So, obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to deduct the total of these checks amount from the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. Now, the total of 3000s and 3500s and is 6500 rupees. This is the amount that should be deducted from the passbook balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as checks drawn but not yet cleared. 
Let us write this amount of 6500 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the regarding of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that checks amounting to 6000 rupees were deposited in February, but they are not yet credited. When the business receives these checks, they will be debited in the cash book and then they will be deposited in the bank. However, as these checks are not yet cleared, they will not be credited in the bank passbook. So, obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as checks deposited into bank but not yet created. Let us then write this amount of 6000 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. In this case, the bank has wrongly debited 500 rupees in the passbook. As this is an error committed by bank, this entry will not be there in the business cash book. But this amount is debited in the bank passbook. So, obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as debit in the bank account by error. Let us now write this amount of 500 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. In fact, we have completed the recording of all the details in the bank reconciliation statement. The next step is to find the balance as per the cash book. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 8,700 rupees. And the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 26,500 rupees. From 26,500 rupees, if you subtract 8,700 rupees, we get 17,800 rupees. This is the cash book balance, and now let's record this. Let's first write the particulars as overdraft as per the cash book. As we have started with the passbook overdraft balance, we need to write the cash book overdraft balance of 17,800 rupees in the plus amount column. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 26,500 rupees. Similarly, the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 26,500 rupees. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.